Special thanks to Toys and Things in Danvers, Massachusetts, Reaper Miniatures, Off the Wall Games in Hadley, Massachusetts, Games and Friends in Springfield, Massachusetts, as well as Triple A Games Arena in Wilbraham, Massachusetts. If you enjoy the show, help the podcast grow. Give us a follow on Twitter at Lords Broken, join the community Discord, and maybe consider offering a small tribute to the old ones on our Ko-Fi. All these links and more can be found in our link tree at linktr.ee forward slash the Broken Lords. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you, they are far you, you, enough you, away that you could attempt to lose them again if you wanted to. Like that. Can we do that? But they they are pretty quick. So <laughs> I'd still like to attempt to get away. Because yeah. even if we can get a little bit closer to the cabin, that's something. Or maybe we can at least find a better place to fight, because like we're in the thick of it right now. Aren't that's we? true. If we can even find a clearing, I'd rather fight on on better terms. Yeah. I'm cool yep. with that. I'm I'm down with that. Would that be another would that be athletics or? So yes, this would be this would be opposed athletics tests for you guys to try and outrun the boars. Ah, athletics. Yes. I'm um, spending a fortune point on this shit. No, uh, since I have, I am not skilled in athletics. I too will spend a fortune point. <laughs> so if if you have no focus in it, that that one only gives you one success. Okay, it's better than nothing. <laughs> yep. I feel better about my two focus in athletics now. Yeah, I know. I'm spending one as well. <laughs> Is everyone spending fucking focus on this shit? Yes. Well, fortune, but yes. I'm trying yeah. to outrun a lot, like a a goddamn wild animal. I'm too, I'm using everything <laughs> in my power. I do have a focus in it though, so. So you get yeah. two successes then. Would anybody be mad if I spent a momentum as well to get an extra dice? Nah, brother. I made okay. it for us, Therefore, so we could use it. I'm stacking the deck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Two unskilled successes. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. That's wonderful. All right, here I go. All right, so with the fortune, oh, I have no. two unskilled Uh-oh. successes. <laughs> With Wait, one complication. With one complication. Okay. So this is actually a good thing to point out for you guys in case I haven't mentioned it before. When you're unskilled, complications hit on 19s as well as 20s. Oh. Cool. Awesome. So. Also, I didn't succeed. Did you just roll straight up? Did you Did you spend anything? I didn't spend anything. Okay, so I need to see who failed worse. Do you have a talent for athletics or anything like that? No. All right. Ooh, socks failed worse. <laughs> nice. Everybody's making a break for it, and it looks like you guys are possibly going to outrun them. However, two things happen. Oh, no. First, Phaedra trips and falls. Mm. The closest one to her is Octomer. Helps her to her feet. She starts running. He, however, has lost ground, and the boars are very close behind now. They haven't exactly caught you yet, so you can either keep trying to run and hope that you can make ground on them, or you can stand and fight. The terrain, like, where we are. The terrain is still, like, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of the bigger trees have roots, like, sticking out above the soil. It's rocky. Since you were actively searching for open ground in case you had to fight, you did find a grove of particularly large trunk trees where there's more open space. Well, boys, this seems like what we were looking for. Think break for the clearing, yeah. All right. Are we in the clearing, or is there a clearing? You're, you're in the clearing. Yeah. There, there is a, there is a clearing, effectively. Okay. Inside of this bigger open space, there's probably maybe. 30 yards across, there's only 10 or 12 trees in that space, but they're they're all very big trees, so they're spread out pretty far from each other. The ground is relatively flat here. Okay. As good as we're gonna get for being in the effing jungle, as it turns out. 
Mm. Uh huh. I think you know once he hits the clearing and uh, Ricardo takes a look behind him and sees like the perilous situation, he just goes uh, ah, ah, and turns around and starts charging for the boars. As you put eyes on this thing, mm-hmm. Ricardo, being a noble, has probably been on a boar hunt before. For sure. So like. You wouldn't ignore the normal size ones, but I would like to stress to you now that you are looking directly at it, the larger one is the size of a war horse. Oh, <laughs> say word. So that's pretty good. Yo, word. <laughs> war horse size boars. Yeah, MBD. Get I kill like a tonight. <laughs> I like the sound um, of war boars. War boars are cool. War boars. War boars. And I get a, um, okay. <laughs> Understood. Also, October's totally right. That, that'd that be food. Yeah. There's meat on them bones. Ricardo hesitates for a second when he locks eyes on the war horse floor and then, just, and then just lets out an even bigger yell to psych himself up for the fight. <laughs> oh, it's happening. All right. So, again, mostly clear ground for the battleground. There's a lot of open space. There are these big trees that you can duck and weave behind, and the ground directly around the trees is very rooty, so the the boars probably aren't going to be able to run across that terrain, but neither are you. Wait a minute, though. As far as zones are concerned, the clearing itself is going to be a single zone, and inside the tree line would be another zone, and, like, verticality, these trees are climbable. That would be a third zone. Does that make sense to everybody? It does. Yeah. It does to me. Well, I hate to say it, but Ricardo is going to be charging headlong recklessly into the thick of it, targeting the big the big fucker first. Do you mind right. if I actually step in front of you and get a shot off before you close to melee? That's fair. If, if you feel like you want to do that, I'm, I will not stop you. I think about potential complications, and one of them would be my stone hits you in the back of the fucking skull. Yeah, that would be pretty shitty. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sounds like first... so ends Ricardo's journey. Yeah, if you want, if you want to, if you want to set up a shot before Ricardo charges in, that's let's go for it. Yeah. So first we have Octomer, then Ricardo's charging in. I feel. Phaedra's probably going to back off, and if there's a rock I can throw, great, but if not, it's what it is. So I, I could be last, theoretically, since I'm retreating. Cole is also going to use one of his rocks. There's going to be lots of rock throwing in this fight. Yeah, well, well. So, here's the problem. If it's three of them, and only one of us in melee, Ricardo is going to He's going to be really sad. Unfortunately, in the heat of combat, there's no time for discussion. So unless it's you want true. me to drop doom and make an attack, yeah. you guys need to do something. All right. Uh, <laughs> hold on. I'm, I spend the minor action to aim two successes. I'm targeting one of the minor boars, by the way, if that matters. You're targeting one of the little guys. Okay. The plan being to cut down on the number of attacks our frontliner is going to take. All Fair. Right. And these are just normal peeg sized boars. Like, you know, yes. still. This is a big peeg. <laughs> I love big peegs. All right. Well, you got one plus one with an effect. I don't believe your sling has any effects, does it? Stun and volley. It just has. Oh, it has stun. All right. That's cool. So you rolled three damage with stun. Uh, I am not going to spend the doom on that. So this guy is stunned. Thank you, buddy. All right. So the boar that you hit is now staggered. Good. Because of your your stun. Because of my pants. Your sling pants, yes. Eat shit, peg. Very important. All right. So you did get an effect on that. All right. Who's going next? I believe... Uh, we determined El Ricardo charging in for the big pig. Okay. Wait, the big pig or the war boar? Big pig. When I say big pig, it's the one that's the size of a horse. The biggest, yeah. I'm sorry, the biggest pig. No, the, the war boars are the small ones. The big pig is the big one. <laughs> and big pig requires big success. So I'm also spending another fortune point on this guy. Then if you got them, I will not smoke them because I do not got them. And you know <laughs> what? 
I'm spending the the other store momentum. I'm sorry, fellas, but like I'm scared. All right, I'm so going into starting... melee combat with Big Pig. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Basically, Nagy as well. Yes. So yeah. I yeah, it's, 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 Why wouldn't you spend that on the fucking parry as, roll? As kids say, I'm is real in these streets. That's fair, but like I have <laughs> <laughs> Nagy fighting with Big Pig. <laughs> We're testing metal against metal right now. Who is better at the raw damage? Peak peak or naked I spent metal? one fortune that gets me two successes. I got a crit. You got a crit, so you got three more successes. What's your what's your target number? Uh thirteen. Uh what's your um what's your focus? My focus is two. Okay. Alright, so that's why the three yeah, that's right. The three would have been green otherwise. Alright, so you have Four successes on this hit. Wait, uh, oh, five. five? I spent a fortune. That's two. Oh, and then you actually you roll the one. Yeah, it's five. My bad. Okay. You have five successes. Are you going to spend all of those on damage juicing? You can't disarm a boar, so that would yeah. be an option. You know what? I am going to juice all five. Of the, yeah, all four of that momentum into damage to big boar. All right, so. Roll your damage for your stone S word, mm -hmm. and we're gonna add we're gonna add four to the result. Oh my god, that's six plus two effects. Remarkably, a nearly nude man running through the jungle with a wood and rocks sword <laughs> just <laughs> rolled up on the biggest boar you've ever even heard of. <laughs> yeah. It looks fake. And it looks CGI, even. Yeah, yeah. And, and you put a massive fucking gash in his shoulder. <laughs> it actually, like, stops to consider for a moment before it decides to try and kill you. Yeah, This is not yeah, a case of man versus machine, all right? No, it is, <laughs> it is man versus beast. By the way, I'm spending a doom now so that he can try and kill Huzzah! you. Huzzah! Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. I hate it Ooh. in these streets. Let's Huzzah! see how these boring tusks do. Boop. I can break these tusks. I can break these, sir. You cannot, be <laughs> sir, you cannot break these cuffs. You know what? You heard this thing bad. I'm spending more doom. <laughs> oh, fuck. The pepperonis come out. It's raining no. pepperoni in the no. streets right No, no. I hate it here. <laughs> Always make your party cut their own switch. Do it, you baby. <laughs> It's no big deal. It was only three successes. <laughs> See, that's fine. All fine. of you are panicking over this thing because it's called Doom or whatever. He's only succeeded three times at destroying no. your tank. No. <laughs> you Please. have not been sitting at a table where Corey picks up the full cup of Doom tokens. Uh-huh. Holds it, it level <laughs> in the air. And then 180 inverts the full cup of red doom tokens onto the table. That's correct. I have not been at the table when this when this. And this side he tanks it. <laughs> I don't like what's about to happen to me. Seven damage. Word. See? Okay. That's Aaron, survival. You take seven from your bigger pool and check a wound box, please, because that's more than five. Ouch. And Ricardo is upset. <laughs> I'd say channel that upset energy into s slaying a pig, but you've already gone. I'd, yeah, but but I've done that, though. It's time for our barbarian. Our noted barbarian melee combat specialists. Yes. Our call. <laughs> Minor. Known to be a melee combat specialist. Marion. Homie Big call. Barbarian. Big rippling muscles. Capital B. Barbarian. He has no interest in the academic pursuits at all. None. <laughs> I'm gonna take my rock <laughs> and throw it at this motherfucker. <laughs> and throw it at the other small guy. Oh, God. I'm gonna spend a fortune point doing it. Because you do need to be pretty lucky throwing a rock at an angry boar. I mean, I just don't want our, yeah. our homeboy who just got beat the fuck up to have another guy drop on him. So across all boars, we've really split the damage here. Well, that's a total for four successes. Okay, four successes. There you go. I'm going to dump three. Actually, I'll only do two into the damage. And so that way we can generate a momentum. Okay. And I'll roll the damage now. All right. So that's 
four damage one plus an and effect. one effect. Four plus one, which is uh, vicious, so that's just adding another one, so that's five. Five damage. Is this and the part where you go regular technical? Regular boars don't have armor soak against the odds. Yes. Marion heaves mightily a rock with a with a kind of sharp edge on it. <laughs> it's the same one that killed the ape. Except that one, it was a lucky rock. Motherfucker got it back. Yeah, I, also, went, I specifically yeah. went and picked it up again. Didn't get it back. It's true. He just mightily heaves that rock, and it just hits the boar straight between the eyes, and the boar dies. It just hits the ground and slides, <laughs> continuing its forward momentum. Excellent. I love it. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to use the minor action to get my bone club ready so I can go join our boar. How does Snidely's rock have a one-shot, one-kill status? <laughs> it's the Osak rock. I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> also, Corey, I was positive you were going to say that boars don't have arms and that damage doesn't count. I was, like, so upset for a moment. <laughs> no, no. No, the damage does count. The boar is dead. Long live the boar. All right, so one pig has dropped. Yay. Yay, Lydia, you still haven't gone yet. It's true. I have stumbled backwards and, like, I'm feeling around for a rock as I go. Do I, do I okay. find one? Yeah, sure. You were on your feet again. You weren't still falling. Sure, but, like, I'm not... Like, the pig's right there. Like, it's not yeah, a... It's not that a, is true. It's not a very scuttled situation. So, um... Yeah. yeah, I'm just gonna feel for rock and I'm just gonna... Throw. Your hand finds a largish stone. All right. Who are you throwing the rock at? I feel like little guy's stunned, so he's probably like kind of low and splayed, right? So let's go for big pig. Big pig, all right. One chance, one opportunity. Do you have fortune uh, points left to spend? You know, I, I don't do. want this chance to blow. I don't. I don't want to be on the receiving end for this guy. If we could just kill him now, that'd be dope. <laughs> Just gonna throw that out there. Yeah, no, I will definitely invest the fortune point. Do you want to use that one momentum to roll three dice instead of two? I wouldn't. You know, even, that sounds I wouldn't great. even say anything about it. That sounds dope. Throw rocks at motherfuckers. Yes. Also, this thing is big enough that it's not getting cover from Ricardo. So. All right. So, grab the rock, steady my feet, and I heave it. Look at those two unskilled successes. I'm so proud. With two more from the fortune point that I invested. Just unfortunately, because you're unskilled, it only gives you one when you put this fortune point. It's it's still oh, right. Okay, so but yeah, it's three it altogether. Yeah. Yes. So it's three successes altogether. The difficulty to hit is still one, so you have two momentum. Would you like to... Damage, please. Juice the damage. You spent that one, right? Yeah. Yes. All right, I'll zero out the pool for you. Nice, thanks. I you're mean... <laughs> I try to be helpful. You're succeeding, sir. Let's cash out on this motherfucker. Oh, and Vicious One makes it a three plus two, that's five total damage, it looks like. The big pig roars and crashes and kind of catches, it catches Ricardo with its flailing, with just the ed, like the side of one of the tusks and mm-hmm. throws him, it throws him a good five feet oh, God. as it flails about and has its messy death throws. The staggered one recovers, it shakes its head, sees that the big boy is down and it scampers squealing off into the bushes. Yeah, he'll be breakfast tomorrow. (laughs) For something. Not for us. Welcome, listeners, to Russia in 1916. I'm worried about my father. I'm concerned that there is a plot to end his life. No matter who is asked, Rasputin is the root cause of Russia's problems. This is damning evidence of some kind of conspiracy. In just a few days, Rasputin will be murdered in one of the most infamous and poorly understood crimes in history. At this point, everyone is a suspect. Come on, everybody. Let's break history. 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 